Hey guys, welcome back. And I am trying to do better when I sew about my scraps. I had a tote full of scraps. And one night I sat down and I cut them into um, manageable pieces. So I'm doing the same now. I just finished with a bunch of Christmas quilt tops. So this is my scraps. And right here they are five inches wide. So I could cut some uh, five inch squares, but I'm gonna do two and a half inch strips instead. I chose that uh, two and a half inch strip because jelly rolls are handy and that's what they are cut at. Of course your charms packs are five inch squares, so they would also be handy. Anything less than say a fat quarter is what I'm cutting. And here, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on this one, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to cut a two inch strip on this one because uh, on my scraps um, when I cut them there were some that were too small to do a two and a half so I do have some cut at two as well so I'm going to cut one here I need to switch blades And then this one I can go in ahead, go ahead and uh, cut two and a half strips. I'm not going to make you watch me cut a whole bunch of strips, um, but I do want to show you So this is a typical jelly roll. You can see they are two and, just two and a half inch strips. So when I took all of my scraps and laid them out, I was able to get a ton of two and a half inch strips. And I'm gonna add what I just cut to the bag. And then Another thing that's typical is a pack of layer cakes. Layer cakes, they are uh, 10 inch squares. So I also was able to get a stack of 10 inch squares. And then the charm packs are the ones that are five inches. And I was able to get a huge stack of five inch. So this makes it so much more oh here's my two inch i'm going to go ahead and add today's to this as well this makes everything so much nicer when i am ready to sit down and use these um just i would use them just like i would a jelly roll or a charm pack or a layer cake um, and doing it as you go is not such a chore like it was the night i sat down with this massive stack or pile it was a pile let's not 
sugar coated. It was, it had just been tossed and tossed. I had to iron most of the pieces because they were wrinkled. I mean, it was a mess. Uh, doing it this way is going to keep it manageable and ready to go when I have a project that I'm going to be able to use this on. And I can definitely use it on any scrappy quilt. So, just a tip I wanted to share with you guys. In case you're like me and you just go from one project to the next and you don't really give it a lot of thought. And you end up with this pile of wrinkled <laughs> uh, scraps from many projects. Do it as you go. And let's see... I think I'd already showed you a couple of tips, but while I'm talking about tips, let's just address it again. On my rulers, I bought these um, 3M hooks that are clear and put them on so it's very easy instead of trying to, you know, get this off of material without moving the material, you just pick it right up. It's clear. It does not... Um, it doesn't stop you from being able to see through there. You still see all your grid lines. So, neat little tip there. Uh, also, keeping a weight so that you can put it on that ruler. If you're cutting a big long strip, you don't want this. You don't want this to shift on you. I mean, that's a pretty slick spot and it's laying on slick material. If uh, you know you're cutting a big long piece and it shifts, all of a sudden you just got wonky. So another tip there, I think Donna Jordan's the first person I saw do that and I really liked it. Um, there are a few other tips, but it's more at the sewing machine. So maybe on another day we'll go over that. But um, just some tips for you there. Um, using your scraps, even if you're not using them immediately. Remember, the, the common pre-cuts are 10 inch layer cakes. Go ahead if you have enough material and cut a 10 inch. Then you have your charm packs that are five inch squares. Um, and then you have your two and a half inch jelly rolls. I think there's even a smaller one, maybe called a honey bun, that's either one inch or one and a half inch, so that you could do that as well. I went with two inch um, just because I tend to use those a lot as well. Also, one other thing, let me grab this little bag. I certainly did not discount the smaller pieces. You know, um, I had some of these that were left over that would do just fine, either in a log cabin or just a scrappy quilt. Um, I kept my miscellaneous, you know, things that didn't fit into those pre-cut sizes uh, in a separate bag. Um, so anyway, guys, just a quick little video on some tips I had with your material. I hope you guys have a good week. Bye.